video, we're going to go over the non-OEM installation of the BDAS 2510 Cass Hudson Sleep and Store Bed System. For non-OEM installation, the first thing you need to determine is where and what kind of studs you're working with behind the wall. In this case, with this trailer, we have metal studs 16 on center, which doesn't line up with the mounting holes on the Sleep and Store shelf system. Do not put new holes where the studs are on the system. What you need to do is put backers attached to the studs, which will then attach the sleep and store system to it. We're using three quarter inch plywood, hitting all the stud locations 16 on center, using cell tapping, uh, high grade uh, metal lags. We tie the studs, and we're going to use some power grabs, construction adhesive as well. This is what we recommend in this kind of situation. Uh, to adapt this to a non-OEM uh, location. All right, so you can see here we've got our backer up, we've got metal lags into the studs, those are 16 on center, we glued behind it, three quarter inch thick, ran up this stud as well. It's gonna sit right back here, right down the center of this when we go to mount it into this three quarter. So the next part, we're gonna put our vertical column up. And the most important thing about this is to make sure that everything's square and going to be square to itself. It's really hard to get level and plumb inside a trailer, so we're more focused on anything square to itself so that the bed operates correct. And what we're going to do, we're going to set it at the height we need based on the thickness of the mattress and the bed frame. That will determine that, and you can look at the manual for that. For this next step, we're going to be installing the bottom shelf bumper bracket. It's helpful if you have two people on this, one to hold it, uh, one to set it square, mark it, screw it in. Uh, with just me, I'll show you how to do this by yourself. So what you want to do is slide it into place off the back. You set your framing square now. Nice and square to itself. And when you're happy with it, go ahead and mark that height in a couple of places as reference. Check to make sure you're happy with the square again. We're going to go ahead and install. Put it into the pocket here. I'm going to check for square one more time. Alright, with this square, we're going to finish putting in lags on all the mounting locations. Now that we got one side up, we're ready to install our second side. Uh, the one thing to make sure with the second side, not knowing how the walls are bowing or bending, is that as we install this, we want to check for square points from end to end bottom to top on this side, and then these ends as well to make sure that all points are square. Uh, do any shimming if you need to, if you're really far out of square, you know, quarter inch or more, um, you're gonna need to do some kind of shimming or, or put additional backers at different spots to make that those points are square. Um, plumbing level, like I said, is it, something that you really can't do in a trailer. It's not easy to do. Um, it's more important to make sure that the, the system from one independent side to the other is square to itself. Both sides up. I like where they're at, so we're ready to put the bed rails in. And for the bed rails, you notice we have a wheel and then we have our safety lock here. The way to put these in is you're going to start up high, just drop the wheel into the C channel, the vertical column here, and then you need to keep the front at a higher pitch because of that lock. Drop it all the way down in the back, and you'll see a cutout that allows that lock to drop down. 
how that works is a safety feature that you can only raise it lower one way. So you go this way, you can't do it. So it's designed that this side has to come up first. That's part of how the mechanics work with this. So go ahead and set both your left and right bed frame in. You want to make sure that you keep this pitch like this because if you bend it, you'll break that lock on there. Now we're ready for our bed frame. And how you want to measure your bed frame is take the width of your trigger wall to wall. And because we added backer, we're going to go to that spot. So basically, whatever you have the mechanism attached to, you're going to take that measurement. For us, we have 80 inches. You subtract four and a half inches, which is going to get you to this inside rail. So you subtract four and a half inches, that's going to be your total width on your bed frame. Your length, these frames are 60 inches long. Your length can go past that, but it's going to change the difference in the arch and how it goes up. So the longer you go this way, the lower the whole system is going to have to go. You have to refer to the, the manual. All right. We've got the bed frame all the way in. You see here, it slid all the way back. And the first thing you're going to do is run these screws in to the little dog ears on both sides. So we've got the bed rail attached to the bed frame on the back side where it butts up to the dog ears. You see three holes, left side, right side. That's all in. The bed frame and bed rail have been pushed together uh, right up to that spacer area you see on the bed rail. So we're ready to do the front. We're gonna do the same thing. We're gonna squeeze it so it butts up against it. And there is an exposed hole right here on the end. We're gonna run into that. Good and tight. Same thing on the other side. All right, for this next part, we're screwing the bottom bed rails to the bed frame across the whole bed rail. The next step is to put the struts on, the forward struts on, so it keeps it propped up for us. So what we're gonna do, we're gonna lift it up with one hand while it's in the up position, and the fat part being up, we're gonna pop that side in, we're going to spin that around, and then on the bed rail, you'll find the other ball stud location. It's back in here, kind of towards the middle, and we're going to attach it right to that. It'll click, and then we'll grab the other one and do the same thing to the other side. Now go ahead, screw the bed frame and the bed rail together. You've done all the screws and periodically check and push the two together, make sure they're actually this feels really nice. So feel good about that. Okay, so now with screws screwed in to the bed frame all the way along the bed rail on both sides. We're ready to lift the back side up and set the struts for the back side. Do this very carefully, and if you have the ability to have help, go ahead and use help. And you want to do this nice and slow and check the arc on the top and make sure it's good. And then when it, holding it with the strut, heavy side up, go ahead and attach. Spin the top around so it's facing, and then you want to get in there, find the ball stud. Towards the back here, there it is. And then snap the strut in. Do the same thing on the other side. in the up position. And now with it up, we're ready to set our 
shelf bracket. All right, with our bed frame in the up position, we're ready to place our bumper shelves. Where you want these, not lifting it, but just set up right to the end of the bed frame. You don't want it too far in because it has to clear to let this drop. So you want it right on the end. And because I have a stud here and a stud here, I am gonna have to cut another backer so that I can place this where I want to. What I'm gonna do, just get it right in line there, mark the bottom, mark the side, do the same on this side so I know where to place this backer as well. And I'll use the same three quarter that I did down here. So I added my backers, uh, got them painted so it matched everything, everything's dry now, so we're gonna go ahead and install our bumper shelf brackets here. All right, so that gives us support there when traveling and in the up position so it doesn't compress the front struts and collapse on us there. And then in the travel mode, you've got the lock pins. You can gauge these when you're not using it. You're going down the road. And those can pin on either side. That keeps this thing from falling down as you're going. That's it. That's the sleep and sort of bed system installed. We're going to go ahead and pull it off, paint it so it looks good, and then uh, put it all back on and be ready to go. All right, so we've got our sleep and store bed frame painted, reinstalled. We're ready to test the operation. We want to pull the travel pins on both sides. Then, starting from the back side of the bed, in the center, pull down until it rests on the bumpers. We'll go to the front side, pull down from the center, let it rest on the bumpers. Put it, to put it back up, you'll start lifting on the front side first. Go to the back side from the center and lift, letting the struts do most of the work. And then if you're ready to travel, go ahead, put the travel pads. Back in.